Ferdinand Magellan was born in 1480 in Villarreal, a province of Trazos Montes. Being born into a wealthy family, he spent his early years in the Portuguese court. There, he learned about explorers, such as Christopher Columbus. He was very influenced by them and wanted to explore the world. When he was 25, his opportunity came when Francisco de Mende offered to take him to India to look for a new trade route. The year is 1505. Portugal is failing economically compared to Spain, and King Manuel grew angrier and angrier until he decided to use his best explorer for collecting trade goods. It's we are losing money. Fetch me Francisco de Almeida. What is it, Mike? We need more goods. I suggest we go to India. I think that's a good idea. I love it. Start on Monday. Hey, Birdman, would you like to be on the ship? Yeah! Gross. The year is still 1505, and Majon is sailing to India to find a new trade route. I see land! Lower anchor! Alright! I can't see anything! Look over there! These are good for trading. I think this one. I see spices and furs, enough for 30 gold pieces. I think this will be enough. Thank you, good sir. In the year 1512, Magellan joined the expedition of Morocco. A conquest? That sounds like fun! I see that! It's a person! Let's get him! After getting injured in Morocco, Magellan sailed with five ships. The Trinidad, the San Antonio, the Conception, the Victoria, and the San Diego had a crew of 251. They sailed across the Atlantic to South America. In 1520, he and his crew anchored for the winter in southern Argentina. In the same year, a mutiny breaks out and the Santago sinks. A few months later, they resume sailing into now what we know as the Strait of Magellan, and were the first Europeans to sail in the Pacific Ocean. In 1521, Magellan had reached the Philippine Islands. I see land, Captain! Great, we'll restock and stuff! Stop oh. fighting, both of you! Ah. <laughs> you are my foot! <laughs> you are my heart! After Magellan had died, they abandoned one of their ships, the Conception, because they had only 110 men left. The Trinidad returned to Spain, but were imprisoned by the Portuguese. The Victoria was the last surviving ship with only 18 sailors. <laughs>